everybody, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com. Welcome back. We're uh, doing a review today on the uh, trail camera that's out by SpyPoint. This is the Pro X trail camera. And I received this camera a while ago. And one of the problems that I had was I put it out on the tree and did everything that I needed to set it up and came back and the camera was missing. So, you know, I'm sure all of us have had that problem here in the past. And a uh, big thing with it is security. I had the camera locked with a python cable and uh, you know it locks the body of the camera to the tree. Now I'll show you some things about this but there's another locking mechanism for the front of it that's used when you open up the camera. So what happened was is they cut the outside lock versus the cable and left just the empty shell on there. So I purchased another one so I could provide a good review for you guys on this camera. So I never even got the first film off of the, uh, the original one I had. However, I purchased this new one, and, you know, that's where we went from it. So I've had this thing sitting out on a tree here for a little while. Uh, I've gone out and checked it numerous times. And where I live now, there's a lot, of, uh, a, lot of, a lot of mule deer running around, a lot of big bucks. I had it out during the rut. So we're going to see what kind of pictures we get. But first off, let's cover it. It's got a 12 megapixel camera in it. So this thing's pretty, you know, pretty high end as far as it goes with, with the... Uh, with cameras these days because it's uh you know it takes a good clear picture you know 12 megapixels is quite a lot all right the camera itself is inside its own case like i mentioned earlier all right you basically open it up there you have a nice three inch viewing screen and uh you know your pictures are going to be in color during the day and black and white at night now it's an led camera so it doesn't use the flash so you have all your leds right here there's 46 LED lights for nighttime illumination, so it doesn't make a big flash and nobody sees where your camera is. It doesn't scare off the game that you're trying to, trying to get on the film, so they'll keep coming around. All right, like I said, you open it up, the camera comes out of the case. So when I went up to the tree, the only thing left was this shell. Now, shell does hook on with a belt. The belt goes around, and it's uh, you tighten the belt and lock it down. That's not really a big issue. The big thing here is that it does have holes on the side for, for you to put your python cable through and put it around to the tree. Now one thing is, like I said, there's two holes here. On, right here that you use when it closes, you put a lock through. Now the, the camera is waterproof, which is nice. Um, the, the only problem is, again, you know, a bolt cutter or something easy, it can't get through that, through that python cable, but it can get right through a lock. So if they had maybe a mini python cable or something along the lines, but it just locks shut. It's waterproof, nice and compact, the way we really like it. Let's talk about the camera here, though. The you know, camera sets up. Here's the front. Here's your lens and your, your 46 LEDs. It's got space over here for your, your card that you can put in it. I think this one I have a 4 gig card I put in the camera itself. All right. It has 32 megabytes of uh, memory already built into it. has a little port here where you can have TV out. It also has a USB port where you can put it in your computer and download your uh, photographs of the, the animals or whatever it is that you're looking for. A lot of people use trail cameras now for personal security around their homes, and uh, you know, that's sort of a good thing. All right, so let's open up the back here where the batteries go. Let's take six AA batteries. One thing I did find with the batteries when I had it out on a tree is that they went really fast. Uh, I would recommend if you could get a rechargeable battery system with a solar panel if you want to keep this thing out for extended periods of time. You have the option to have it take uh, video or it could do you know just your regular uh, your regular pictures but the video does come with sound. This can pick up an animal from 5 to 45 feet away so that's pretty good if you put it on a nice trail facing down the trail you'll be able to see if an animal's coming. Then it'll take multiple pictures as the animal goes by which is pretty neat. Or if you put it on video, you can see exactly what they're doing. Like I said, it does have sound, so it'll pick up the sound if a buck's grunting or elk bugling or whatever the case. It'll pick that sound up. The one thing I do want to mention is that it has uh, moon phase, which is good. It takes the temperature. It also takes the time and the date that it was put on there. Because I like to always put the date and time like everybody else out there who does this. Who, who's out there tracking animals to see what time they're coming by. You know, you sit in your stand all day and you, you see all this deer sign. You come back the next day, you sit all day again, and there's no animals. Well, most of those bucks are probably coming by at night. If you happen to find them come by in the day, then you need to be sitting in the stand. A lot of people get out of the stand around 10 o'clock in the morning or so, 
come back at 2 while the deer might be moving between 10 and 2. Alright, so that does it pretty much about the camera. Uh, like I said, you can put your card in here, uh, which I always recommend because when I go out to check a camera, you can look on the LED screen here and actually look at the individual animals that you have seen, and which it makes it nice because you could go through and delete or keep or whatever the case is and sort of see right there when you're in the woods of what's come by. A lot of cameras you have to take the card out and either have a viewer or you go home to look at it. But I always take an extra card with me and I change it out when I'm changing this out, along with fresh batteries, especially for this model. Um, I don't have the solar panel pack for it, however, uh, I would recommend that once again. So it's pretty simple to put together. You open it up, it tells you everything that you need here on the inside. So it's got directions in here, you don't have to carry a direction book out with you. Okay, so it says when selecting photo mode, the test light on the front of the camera will blink for 60 seconds, allowing you to lock it up and walk away. All right, they also have a test mode. And then you can view, of course, like I told you on the back of the screen. Take the camera. It just sits right in the front right here. Make sure you got it right side up so that your LEDs fit in. It won't fit in any other way. Then you close it. Take the locks here. You lock them up. Nice, compact, very light camera. You can put it in your pack if you're going to go do some scouting for some high country trips or whatever the case is. Now, I got this camera out of the woods just a few days ago. And one of the things that I did notice on it is uh, sun can trigger this camera just like any other one. Uh, the difference in the heat is what, what causes it to go off. Um, I had some deer walking down the trail, as you'll see in some pictures here in a minute, just walking straight towards the camera with the sun in the background. Still took a good picture of the deer. I could tell if they're does or bucks or whatever the case was. Um, the nighttime film on this, or nighttime uh, pictures, are a little blurry. So if you're looking to look at the animals exactly at their antlers or whatever the case is, you can see them pretty much for the most part. I have film of that as well. But you can see them for the most part, but the antlers are pretty blurry. Uh, I would recommend, you know, like I said, you could set it for daytime or you set it for nighttime or you could set it for whatever case. But um, that's the only problem I have to say about this is the outside locking mechanism because your camera is not safe with just an outside lock even though, you know, a lock just prevents a person from being a thief. I had to purchase this camera because of somebody stealing my camera anyway. You know, Now they left the body. I have an extra body. So one thing is I could have this set up on two, two spots, which I believe you can purchase just the body. Take the camera out and I could go to another spot and put the camera in so I don't have to do the whole process of setting it up on the tree. That does make it one nice thing. Um, you know, the camera overall, it's definitely nice and lightweight. Uh, the battery life is short, and the night pictures are just a little bit blurry, but other than that, you know, hey, great trail camera, because I'll tell you what, I've gotten some nice bucks on this, and you'll see some of the mule deer that we've gotten here, and uh, I would recommend this, this camera for pretty much anybody out there. One thing I do want to mention, though, is that this camera um, that SpyPoint has now, I just returned from the archery trade show, and they have a new camera out now. Now, the camera... It's pretty much about the same concept, except for how it has a wire antenna on top. Now the wire antenna goes to another little module that you can set somewhere else. As long as the antenna is exposed on this module, it'll get the pictures from the camera put on there. So not only do you have the pictures on the camera, but you turn around and say if somebody does steal your camera, which would be unfortunate, on the little module that's set, you can have it in a tree, you could set it down on the, uh, on the ground, wherever you want to put it just hide it and just have the antenna exposed, you'll have the pictures of the people who stole your camera on there as well. Now, if that helps you out or not, I don't know, unless you're in an area where you know all the people that are out there hunting and you can, you know, get the law involved because you never want to get yourself in a confrontation with somebody that they could possibly hurt you or your family or whatever the case over some measly little piece of plastic. All right, so I'll tell you, I recommend the camera. It's great. I would I would also recommend that you get the chargeable, uh, just basically any kind of chargeable batteries, and then get the solar panel for it, so that you can go out and have this thing running all the time, and you get the whole card full of pictures versus, you know, just regular six AA batteries, and it fades out. So, you know, overall, I'd have to give this camera probably about an 8.3, and I do that just because of the battery life and the locking mechanism right here like I told you about and then of course the night pictures just a little bit blurry 
But other than that, it's a great camera. It takes great day photos, which is what we as hunters really want to have because we want to be out there when the deer are out there. So this will tell you when they're walking by. And tells you the date they came by. And if you have a buck on the daily trail, it keeps going by the same time, maybe you'll be in the stand the next day and be able to stick him. So for Outdoor Product Review, I'm Jason Ballas, and we're going to see you guys on our next review.